there are a lot of you out there, most people, are always complaining about money. Oh, I don't have enough. Oh, I need more. My bills is pile, it's piling up. I need, I need money for this. Need money for that. Wouldn't be so nice not to worry about money anymore. I mean, there there are many factors of why people don't have enough money. There, there are things that are really out of, out of your control, and things happen, and there's government regimes, and the economy is 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 not working in favor for people of certain demographics, or you don't you don't have certain certain um, papers or legal status. Where you live, there's a whole bunch um, of reasons why, no matter how much you try, it's so it's difficult. But for those who do have the power to to get their wealth better, or grow it, or put it in the right direction, I've got three C's for you. The first one is content. Content. What are you absorbing? You know, there's, 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 even people who come through from poverty. From poverty, who are, who are doing so well now. One reason, content. They put the right content every day in front of their eyes, through their ears. But many of you are not doing that. You, you, you quit to watch the sports games. You quit to watch the movies. You quit to watch somebody twerk on TikTok, uh-oh, Instagram. You quit to watch some pornography. You quit to watch some ga- gaming stuff. You're, you quit to watch somebody f- goofing off. But you're not listening to... Millionaires, billionaires, entrepreneurs of what do you do to get your money up? And that's an everyday thing. Your financial education should be an everyday thing. What are you watching? Even even professed Christians, oh, oh I'm going there now. I'm not saying it's bad to watch sermons. I watch, I watch sermon every day. I'm not, you should watch sermon. I'm not saying it's bad to watch gospel concerts. And Yeah, but listen, you, you also need to get the nitty gritty data of how to grow your money. Come on, there, there, there's people you want to impact and... and and bless and and imagine being able to easily pay pay for somebody's rent for the next six months Uh-oh. or even one month, three months. Mo- most professed Christians can't even do that. The, Bi- the Bible has studied to show yourself approved, but the problem is we're, we're not we're not studying the financial content. Come on, there 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 are financial principles in the Bible, but but there are people also who take those fi- financial principles and break it down further so that we can fully understand it and implement it in our life. One of my favorites is Dave Ramsey and and Jim Rohn and Myron Golden. I'm learning, I'm learning a lot from them. They're incredible people. So you got to also not just read it, but also have people that can break it down and people who are actually break it, breaking it down and are implementing that in their life. And you can do it too. Hone in on those verses about money. And, and of course, God gives them insights. They spend time around other people as well. Uh-oh. They also further stimulate their financial knowledge. So and and that's and I bring it to my next C conversations. Conversations. The people who are very wealthy. They have the they get around the people who are having the conversations about money, about real estate and and flipping houses or just go or have deciding a, a rental property and selling it and um investment accounts and where to put your money, how to make it grow, how to spend wisely. Um, you know, all um. How to sell a, how to start a business and, and then maybe sell that business and um, a service a pr- profitable service um, all these ideas but we're always hanging out with people who just who just say they want money or I wish I had this I wish I can get that or man I need more money man man I need this money or, or complaining about money but then not having the conversation about how to get the money how are you gonna go how are you gonna get the money if you if you if you're not getting people who are having the the financially the financial building conversations let's not just talk not, let, let's not just talk about we want the money we're going to talk about how are we going to get it what's the plan what's the plan to get out of debt to, to, to not to, to, to go pay for your groceries and you don't got, you don't got, you don't, got, you, don't got, you don't got have to look at the price to talk about Maybe maybe it's time to change our service providers so we so we pay low, lower amounts in our in our expenses. Maybe there's other places, better places to shop. Maybe I don't have to buy all the expensive things in this place. Maybe there's a place that still gives you quality, but the prices are far cheaper. Maybe I can be better. Um, maybe I can um choose a, a airline that's significantly cheaper. Oh, like me, I I know an airline that's I know an airline that's a little bit further away from me, but it's far cheaper. 
I, I go there. And my, 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 and my, and my cost for um, traveling is like over half off, 50 to 70% cheaper. Just by traveling a little bit further out. It's worth it. Don't for me personally. Maybe it's only different. <laughs> Far cheaper. Talking about from like 250 to, to 100. Uh oh. <laughs> Come on! Yeah. Now, if it was too far away, I wouldn't do it, but yeah. Yeah, so have the conversation. A lot of you are always hanging around people. We're talking about everything else. Oh, how good that girl look. You want to do that to that girl. What you smoking? What you drinking? And what's on the news? And how's the weather like? And all these trivia, all these vain and regular and, and mundane conversations. Like, what, what about getting this money up? Let's talk about that stuff. Uh-oh. Yeah, you're complaining about it. And you you looking at people and saying what well, they got? Oh, look at that! Look, man, look look at look at a nice house. Look, at, man, they could take a, they could take a night. I know a guy, some of you, Anthony O'Neill, one of my favorite entrepreneurs to listen to. This guy every year takes a one month off. Right now, I think right now he's on vacation. July, July, the man is focused. The man is committed, and he didn't grow up with with much. He grew up he grew up with with um, not much money. Come on, he woke up very very little very little money. But guess what? He got his stuff together. He didn't give up. That guy's able to do a, a, a month. And a lot of you have not taken a vacation in years. In years. Only once a year, two weeks vacation. I mean, I'm not knocking. I'm not saying, you know, I'm not looking down on you. But to have the privilege of having a month off fully. All the, all the money set aside for that. That's... For many, many people, if they put the work in, that that could be them. That could be them. I mean, some people say, well, my job can't do that. Well, maybe some of you have three weeks off. Okay, but also you got paid time off. You got personal time off. I mean, for those, well, I guess it's more for people who are like business owners and who have more flexibility. For those who do have a job that you have to, you, you, you're going to take two, three weeks off, that, that's different. But for those, for those who are entrepreneur-minded or will go be eventual entrepreneurs, I'm, I'm talking to you. You know, to eventually have your business in a way that you can you can do that. Have a whole month off or even more and the business still running without you. If if at all possible. But I think one of the most important things is that we don't we won't have to work as often. We we could we could take we don't we don't gotta work all this overtime. Right? You can work 35, 40 hours or then and you're good. You're good. Thirty hours and you're good. If at all possible. Um you know, and of course, the best thing is to come to a point where you don't. Well, well, hopefully, sooner, sooner than later, you you won't have to work. Your money's working for you. You won't have to work. Um, my final point: consistency. The final C: consistency. Be consistent. Keep doing it. Keep reading. Keep studying. Keep getting the information. Keep gleaning. Keep doing it. Don't do it here and there occasionally. Uh, no, keep doing it even when we don't feel like it. Keep reading the books. Keep getting the material. Keep Today they go take take the classes on 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 whatever trade you you're going at that's marketable whatever whatever business business class whatever it is, but it's about whatever is marketable whatever is always going to be selling you need to know what do I do to get in this field and to be profitable in this field. Mm -hmm. All right, you learn how to learn how to sell, publish a book, sell a book, e courses. Um, a whole bunch of things. Not everything's gonna be for you. Not everything is probably gonna really be excited about. But do something. Start with somewhere. You may only just do two, three things, but do something. Start with one thing. Um, and watch that money grow. All right. So content. What you're watching, listening to conversations. Who are you talking to? Or, or who? Or who are you letting talk to you? What are you listening to? With your phones. And the consistency, keep at it. It's like growing, growing, growing muscles. Consistency, having great, great marriage. Consistently pouring into feeding it. All right. God bless you. I love you, and the Lord bless you and keep you.